Hi, I am Noan Janaka from NUN's HCI lab in the National University of Singapore. I am pleased to present our recent work. It explores the use of paracentral and near peripheral visions for display notifications on optical see through head mounted displays or OHMDs and otherwise known as smart glasses. OHMDs are getting popular and provide just in time assistance at anywhere. They support computerized assistance ranging from medical care to common activities such as outdoor navigations. They also support displaying of everyday notifications. Even in social settings, OHMD users need to receive secondary information as they can prepare users for upcoming events and provide urgent information. For example, OHMD users can receive conversation cues or topic suggestions while conversing with someone else. You can imagine how this may help enhance conversation. However, receiving notification, especially those are not related to conversations, can be disruptive and split one's attention. They may lose eye contact, compromising the quality of conversation. To reduce the disruptive effects of OHMD notifications in social settings, we look deeper into how human vision works. Human vision comprises different regions with unique capabilities. For example, central vision helps someone to maintain eye contact while the peripheral vision helps someone to notice surrounding movements by others. Thus, we ask can we use the underutilized paracentral and near peripheral regions to display OHMD notification content. Would this minimize disruption to a person who is also engaged in a conversation? That is the focus of this paper. We propose a visualization technique that projects secondary information such as reminder notifications on the paracentral and near peripheral region of the eye. This allows users to read notifications while continuing to focus on their conversational partner. First, we simulated a virtual settings where a user maintains eye contact with a person on a screen to understand the effects of presentation type on quality of conversation. This controlled environment eliminates confounding factors that may arise from realistic settings. We focused on notifications that signals progress of a certain task and compared between three types of progress bars, the circular bar, common linear bar and text indication. During the study, participants look at the digital character focusing on it. Progress values are shown on their OHMD at the same time. Participants are tasked with identifying and noting down the progress values. To assess the effects of three types of progress bar, we measured the user's progress perception and perceived quality of conversation. Surprisingly, we found that users were most accurate when shown the circular bar. We verified that circular bar reduces perceived interruption. This is because the circular shape enables them to identify the progress value without moving their eyes across the stream. Its larger size and plot like interface help users to read progress values easily. In contrast, text reading engages central vision and was thus harder to read when user maintained focus on the digital character's face. To validate the results in study 1, we compared our proposed design in a more realistic conversation setting where the wearer and non-wearer engaged in conversations. As expected, we found the circular bar is more comfortable and effective in realistic setting also. We also found majority participants still prefer the circular bar over others. However, we did not observe significant differences in terms of quality of conversation between progress types. This is because even wearers looked at the progress bar directly, non wearers thought they were thinking what to say next. Overall, we found circular bar to be effective in conversation settings. But users want to control when the progress updates occur. Most participants expected frequent updates nearing the upcoming event and more infrequent updates when an event is still a while away. 
frequency of update can signal urgency. When the social distance changes, even progress bars move between central to mid peripheral vision, circular bar still has advantages over others. However, we need to verify whether the results are applicable for other social settings such as in group meetings, public speaking or interviews. This study verified that presenting information in a circular manner for OHMDs can utilize benefits of paracentral and near peripheral vision. So we propose to extend the results to menu designs and notification displays where users can grasp secondary information while focusing on a primary target. Finally, circular bar is just an example of utilizing paracentral and near peripheral regions. Thus, we need to investigate other design solutions to utilize paracentral and near peripheral regions in other application contexts. For example, we propose that by aligning important part of notification such as timing or remaining time near to the paracentral vision and key plus important parts in peripheral vision, we can still use text and linear bus. Thank you.